So if you followed me last week, I had to take the wall out of here. I had to move everything at you. I put some legs on this and I put the table in. And I had to dismantle all the electrics that I had here for that one. So it's up there now. But I've been on moving it all up there. So I've redone the wiring loom. But what I forgot how to do, because it's been a long time since I've done it, is to fire the speed control up for the spindle so I can turn it like slow down fast and go and it goes on here and I just need to get it to hit to the switch so that's what I'm up to today I've got some tape I've got to tape all the loom up like I have here so I've got that loom there I think it's here where is it at there so I've got to that loom there that's got all them cables in and we've just done another loom on the back of here So that's where I'm up to. But if you're new to the channel and you don't know what I do, this machine I made on a 3D printer and it's paid for everything, including the shed I'm standing in, including the electric I'm using today. That's its that's its uh, power supply. I haven't built a box for this one, but I have built a box for me one previously. Uh, I've got the the 3040 the 6040 and also have the 90 the 90 the 90 60 over there got a big water barrel there keep the pumps cold and i have a dedicated room that's on getting made just for the cnc's and if i turn around i have a sanding beer just knocked up around the corner in the cupboard so i'll just go around the corner in the cupboard and i've got like a sanding area where i sand everything you see out and i need to clean up but this is pretty clean compared to normal just drop us a text drop us a message subscribe i'll show you how it all works i've got about 400 videos knock yourself out <laughs>